Hello my friends, guys and girls, wherever you are, on planet Earth, or elsewhere. Welcome to the Electric Viking, fantastic to have you here, and thank you for subscribing, if you have done so already, I really appreciate that support. BYD, before you start whinging in the comments that you don't know who BYD is, go to the description below, I'll put in some articles there, some links, to my many videos about BYD, about, one, the batteries they make, two, their history, three, why you should invest in them, and four, about many of the models that they sell. So, don't complain, act, go to the description, have a look, you'll see there's lots of videos there about BYD, so you can learn lots about them. And one thing you should know, is that BYD, this year, is the second largest seller, manufacturer of EVs worldwide. And they're also the fourth largest battery manufacturer in the world. BYD make the lithium iron phosphate blade battery, which is the thinnest battery in the world and also one of the safest. And that's not just marketing, that is actually true. Lithium iron phosphate batteries are natural by their very nature much more safe than other batteries, NCM chemistry in particular, specifically when they are pierced by something else. Now I've talked about BYD's blade batteries on the channel before, and I've talked about why they matter. I've even talked about why I think BYD and Tesla are going to make a joint venture together for the Model 2, the new Tesla $25,000 hatchback, I think it'll be, or small SUV, that will be coming out in 2022. And I've also talked about how BYD will be badge engineering while making a car that Toyota will then badge engineer for Toyota's first proper global EV, which should be coming out next year. So if you didn't already know, BYD will be making a vehicle, which Toyota will basically put badges on the end of, maybe put some interior garnishings on, maybe even use their own touchscreen, something like that. But primarily the car will be a BYD EV. So clearly Toyota and other manufacturers, such as Hyundai, which will be using BYD's blade batteries, highly respect what the company is doing. Now, I've never gone into specific detail on the BYD blade battery, so let's do that right now. But before we do, I should talk about the fact that there is currently rumors that Tesla is testing BYD's blade cell to pack batteries, and Tesla didn't deny them, but after about a week of free publicity, BYD did deny those reports. Now, I don't fully believe BYD. I do think it's likely there will be a partnership. For one reason, Tesla CEO and BYD CEO are very similar men, both highly intelligent, highly driven CEOs who created something out of nothing. Another reason is Tesla wants to secure up as much battery supply as they possibly can. They have, they use CATL batteries, they use Panasonic as a supplier, they're making their own batteries. They use LG Chem's batteries. Why not add BYD to the mix? Especially considering the fact that we now know the blade battery costs less than 100 US dollars, actually 96 US dollars to be precise, per kilowatt hour, making it one of, if not the cheapest packs in the world. Now, the new blade battery was actually developed by Fin Dreams Battery, an independent subsidiary of Chinese automaker BYD which is also a major supplier of EV batteries to other automakers. In April, BYD announced that all of its future electric vehicles will use the new blade battery and its new 800 volt 3.0 system, which will be first seen in the BYD EA1 Dolphin, its new hatchback. BYD unveiled its blade battery officially in March 2020. And with it, the company aims to completely end the safety issues of EVs, such as battery fires. BYD's chairman and president, Wang Shanfu, called the blade battery a gift to the industry, as the company is willing to share it with other automakers. In the future, we will share all of our technologies and products with the world, said Shanfu during the unveiling of the blade battery last year. Now, the blade battery actually resembles a blade with positive and negative terminals at each end. Although a saw blade can easily be flexed from side to side, it's actually rigid when trying to bend it up and down. And it's this same concept that makes the individual blade battery cells act as structural support inside of the battery pack, 
much in a way that Tesla is planning on doing with its new 4680 battery cell to pack strategy. Now once installed inside a battery pack, honeycomb structural panels provide support sufficient for each pack. Now each long blade battery acts as a support beam, adding strength to the entire pack and to the entire car, according to BYD. The blade battery was also designed to maximize the use of available space within the battery pack. BYD says that the blade battery offers higher space utilization than a conventional EV battery. And if you actually have a look at the size of this battery, you'd be shocked at just how thin it is. Now each blade is 96 centimeters long, 9 centimeters tall, and 1.35 centimeters wide. So it's actually 1.35 centimeters thick. Incredibly thin. The single cells are arranged together in an array and then inserted into a battery pack. The design is known as cell to pack technology and eliminates having to use individual battery modules inside the pack that each require a separate term thermal management system and electronics. Like I said, what Tesla is planning to do with its new 4680 packs, cells and packs. With this configuration, use of available space is increased by over 50% compared to conventional cylindrical lithium iron phosphate batteries, which gives the batteries a higher energy density as more cells can fit. Higher energy density was a big part of what BYD planned on with the new blade battery pack because, of course, lithium iron phosphate batteries have a lower energy density, a fair, quite a lot lower energy density than NCM battery chemistries. So BYD set out to be able to solve that issue. Now the other concern, which I just spoke about, that the blade battery addresses is safety. One of the biggest problems hindering the development of the EV market is the combustion and explosion of lithium ion batteries. Hyundai has just spent 1 billion or over 1 billion US dollars recalling a lot of different EVs that they sold because their battery packs were setting their cars on fire. And of course, General Motors has been in the news lately for their bolts, which are spontaneously combusting. But electric vehicles from Tesla, Hyundai, GM, and NEO have all experienced battery fires from overheating. But as EV adoption goes forward, the risk of battery fire will decrease thanks to innovations like BYD's lithium ion phosphate battery pack and other innovations like thermal management. Now in February, Hyundai announced it was recalling 82,000 EVs to replace battery packs that posed a fire risk the recall is one of the first major recalls of electric vehicle battery packs by an automaker. Hyundai said that recalling the battery packs will cost them over 900 million US dollars. And Hyundai have since changed battery supplier. True story. Now the blade battery uses lithium ion phosphate for the cathode material. It offers a higher level of safety than conventional lithium ion batteries with outstanding strength, range, long life, and power according to BYD. Lithium ion phosphate is a more stable battery chemistry, even at temperatures as high as 500 degrees Celsius. If you weren't already aware, Tesla actually sells a Tesla Model 3, and in the base model Tesla Model 3, they use CATL's lithium ion phosphate battery cells. And that base model Tesla 3 is significantly cheaper than the cars that Tesla sell, the other Tesla Model 3s, which have NCM battery chemistries. So you can see there's a big advantage in cost. Now to showcase its durability, the BYD blade battery successfully passed the industry's so-called Everest test of being punctured by a nail to prove it won't ignite. The nail penetration test simulated an internal short circuit of the battery, which is the root cause of battery fires or combustion. And the blade battery also survived an extreme strength test in which the blade battery pack was rolled over by a 46-ton heavy truck. A 46-ton truck drove over it. Now the heavy truck test is a more stringent test than any national standard test in the world and incredibly the battery successfully passed this test without any leakage, def deformation or smoke. And BYD even said the blade battery pack was perfectly intact and still, and still fine to be used in an EV. I don't know if this is true, I find this hard to believe that a 46 ton truck drove over the pack and it was still fine to be used but if that is true then that is truly incredible. Now BYD also said its blade battery passed other extreme test conditions including being overcharged by 260%, crushed, bent and heated in a furnace 300 degrees Celsius and none of these tests resulted in a fire or explosion. 
And BYD now claims that its Blade battery is the only EV battery in the world that can safely pass these tests, which may be true because BYD does test batteries from other manufacturers, it tests cars, batteries, and all kinds of things from other manufacturers to compare them, and it also breaks them down to see how they built them in order to re-engineer that product in a better way. That's how BYD actually started the company. They initially bought cars from other automakers, took them apart, and then tried to re-engineer them and make them even better. They didn't succeed for a while, but their cars now have definitely improved considerably since their early days. Now, there's unconfirmed reports out of China that say Tesla is already C-sample testing the BYD Blade battery for a more affordable model that's in the works, which might be used in Tesla's electric cars from 2022. Now, like I said, BYD have just denied that, but that doesn't mean it's not true. Tesla haven't denied it. It's possible that Tesla are actually testing these batteries without BYD's knowledge. Who knows? Now, the BYD Han, which is a model that established itself in the mid-to-large luxury electric sedan market in China, was the first BYD model to be equipped with the Blade battery. The Han is a close competitor to the Tesla Model S in China. Kind of. Well, it's like a budget-priced version of the Tesla Model S. And it's sold more than 10,000 units every month consecutively since the Han was launched in July 2020. It offers a range of 375 miles and can go from 0 to 60 miles an hour in roughly 4 seconds. More importantly though, for you and me and many people around the world, the BYD EA1 Dolphin will come with the new Blade battery, along with a range of other affordable BYD electric cars because BYD is planning to go global with their electric car sales. Now BYD is going to be a huge part of the world's transition to renewable energy. Of course, they're the world's fourth largest battery manufacturer and the world's second largest seller of battery-powered cars. I personally am invested in BYD as a company because I believe in what they're doing. I believe that one of the big benefits of BYD the company is the fact they are vertically integrated in a similar way to Tesla. They make most of the car's components in-house including the batteries and this enables them to make the car cheaper and potentially better quality. Now remember one of the big advantages of the BYD Blade battery is the fact that BYD have said it can do more than a million kilometers before seeing any significant battery degradation. Now that is one of the big advantages of lithium iron phosphate battery packs in general. Battery degradation is extremely minimal and the batteries can handle cold temperatures and hot temperatures extremely well without the need for thermal management. Yep, it's true. Apparently, lithium ion phosphate batteries don't actually need thermal management if they're done correctly. So I think over the next few years, you're going to see lithium ion phosphate batteries, the Blade battery from BYD in many other cars. And the reason being, it is an excellent product. Thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Bye-bye.